Lord, thy greetings in the mighty name of Jesus. And it is a great joy and privilege once again to be here tonight to minister the word of God. I trust the Lord that everyone is in good health and happiness regardless of our situation or world. As I always say, beloved and friends, Jesus says in his words, Lo, I am with you always. I will never leave you nor forsake you even unto the end of this world. Isn't that awesome? Isn't that greater? Isn't that mighty, my friends and beloved? that God give us a promise and assurance that he will be with us in every situation, in every circumstances, in every trial, in every testing, in every storm, in every decision making. He said in his words, a thousand shall fall at thy side and ten thousand at thy right hand, but no evil shall befall thee and no plague shall come by thy dwelling. Let's give a big hand tonight. My friends, welcome tonight. Those of you who are listening to me from your living room, from your dining room, from your kitchen, from your car, from your office, on the street with your phone, God bless you richly. Father God, this night I pray that you dip me in the river of liquid fire of the Holy Spirit. Anoint my lips, anoint my tongue, anoint my body, anoint my soul, anoint my spirit, anoint my mental faculties, every spirit spirit of witchcraft, opia, demonic forces, evil blights, generational curses. I destroy under the precious blood of Jesus, for the blood of Jesus is so efficacious, and the blood of Jesus is so powerful. The blood of Jesus is a repellent that destroys every yoke and every bondage and every fetter and every evil and every work of darkness. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive our debts as we forgive our debtors and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from all evil for thine is the kingdom the power and the glory forever and ever amen the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leads me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. He do I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me. In the presence of my enemies, thou anointest my head with oil, and my cup runneth over, and surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. In Jesus' precious and gracious and wonderful name. Father God, tonight I pray for thy people. I cover everyone under the precious blood. Beloved, I cover everyone under the precious blood tonight. I build a hedge around your life. I release a blessing upon your life physically, spiritually, socially, materially, financially, educationally, every year in your life tonight, my friends and beloved and family and relatives. I cover everyone under the precious blood. I pray that God will bless your homes tonight. I pray that God will bless your marriage. God will bless your children. God will bless your business. God will bless your finances. And God will bless you on the job. And whatever you do, it shall prosper. I release prosperity upon your life tonight. I release that blessing upon your life. True peace and joy and happiness. Yes, my friends, the thief covet, but for to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But Christ comes that we might have life and life more abundantly. Tonight, God wants you to have abundant life. But the devil wants to rob you. Jesus said in his words also that healing is a children bread and the first covenant he made with man was the covenant of healing for he was wounded for our transgressions he was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him and with his stripes I am healed, you are healed, we are healed in Jesus precious and gracious and wonderful name. Let's give him a big hand tonight. Thank you, Jesus. 
Yes, my friends, hallelujah. Healing belongs to you tonight. And those who are sick tonight, I'm going to pray for you after the service tonight. Yes, I promise. I'm going to pray that God will touch you and heal you in Jesus' precious name. But tonight I want to speak a little that, 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 of something that we are living in the end times. The dangers we need to understand. It's a sign, something I want to speak on. It's a sign of what is happening in our world. In the book of Timothy, chapter 3, verse 12 tells us, and do this. Notice also that in the last days perilous times shall come, for men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful and unholy. My friends, these are dangerous times. These are signs, this night, that we are living in the very last days. The dangers of unthankfulness is all over the place, my friends. Now we need to understand the dangers of unthankfulness this night, my friends. Second Timothy, I'll read again chapter 3 and verses 1 to 2 tells us what does it say. My friends, let me go slow. This one also, but in the last days, it says perilous times shall come. Yes, for men shall be lovers of their own selves. Yes, covetous and boasters. Proud is proud, blasphemous, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy. Yes, unholy. A wise man once said, once said, if you can think, if you can think, you can thank. You can, you can thank. The Bible says a lot about gratitude, and also the absence of it is in gratitude. My friends, it is not only a human, a mortal deficiency. My friends and beloved and family but it's also great sin before God it is one of the terrible things that has been made mentioned in 2 Timothy chapter 3 that will manifest in the last days. Yes, God has designed and created, my friends, He has designed and created us in His very own image. He designed us also. Yes, He designed us so that we can give Him His glory, my friends, and forth and show forth His glory tonight. However, my friends, we choose to do otherwise for what whatever reason or excuse not only are we not living up to who who and what he has called us to be my friends we also disobeying him we are disobeying him the little seed of gratitude might start out of an oversight at first tranquilizing the blessings of God yes being blind to them tonight yes that you forget to thank God and give him glory then my friends it goes on to germinate and spring up uh, the fruit of the indifference. Yes, and even when, uh, even when you see these blessings, uh, you choose not to acknowledge uh, or attribute to uh, my friends uh, the source of God. Then it, it then in, in final bears, uh, it finally bears a full blown uh, and ripe harvest uh, of rebellion, rebellion and such hardness uh, of heart. Uh, it begins to make you feel, uh, feel like a God. Uh, or my friends, the doer of all the things in your life. Yes, my friends, tonight let's talk about indifference. Indifference tonight in the things is a thing that God done for you, is doing for you. And we as human beings have a, prosper a, 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 a prosperity to becoming a custom. Yes, things we quickly, we quickly get used to stuff. We get very quickly look at this we have you have got a, a real nice car and for the, the first time two months when you just got the car, you look for any excuse to drive the car. Yes, I mean, you literally go out of your way, out of your way to drive that car. Yes, my friends, you keep the car super clean. Yes, you look at it and even admire it. Yes, but at fast, fast forward on the third month, you become accustomed, accustomed to the car, my friends, and driving it. 
is no longer as an exciting as it was when you finally bought the car. My friends, the same thing can be said about many things. Many things tonight. People have a our propensity of becoming accustomed to things very quickly and then they become indifferent towards those things. My friends, are you becoming indifferent to the blessings of God tonight, the blessings of the Lord in your life? Did you provide, God provide a job for you that you are accustomed to and now rather than thanking the Lord for that job, you are indifferent about it tonight? Am I speaking to someone about if we all have things, we all have things to be thankful of, of God blesses you with food last night is a reason to be thankful for, for do you know that there are people in the world last night who literally went to sleep on an empty stomach, they are no fault of their own, they are just born in a country which does not provide the same opportunities that you may have. My friends, if you have a place to sleep, my friends, be thankful tonight. If you have people who care for you tonight, yes, and who love you, my friends, be thankful tonight. If you have children, be thankful tonight. Yes, I am not seeing that your life is perfect, but there are people, there are people in a in, in, in a different part of the world who are begging God and pleading with God for the life, for the life you have right now, my friends. There are people in the hospital beds right now who are begging God for the opportunities you have tonight, my friends. Be thankful, be grateful. I am not saying that your life is perfect, my friends. We all know that no one's life is perfect but tonight for all I'm saying tonight my friends that is there are things there are things in your life that you can you can thank God for but you do not allow this characteristics of the last days to become part of your character yes to be thankful to God my friends Romans chapter 1 verse 32 tells us give a detailed description tonight of the downfall, the downfall of people, our society my friends, listed alongside adultery yes my friends, in every time of rebellion is on thankfulness, yes verse 22 says although they knew they knew God they neither glorify him as God, Noah my friends, give thanks yes to him, he tells us that God give great gratefulness and ungratefulness seriously my friends as we as believers tonight are so quick to judge sins of the flesh but we are so slow so slow tonight to judge sins of the spirit yes my friends you don't commit adultery yes you you tonight don't fornicate yes tonight you don't steal yes you do not live in an unthink un un ungrateful life yes full of complaints tonight a life full of grumblings and towards God yes my friends I don't have this in my life I don't have that in my life but what about you tonight do you have how about you you focus on all the wonderful things God has given you in your life tonight just spend time Reflecting on your life tonight, my friends. Yes, and you will see how God good, how God, how good God is in your life, and you will see the long list tonight of things you need to be thankful for. Long as a person remains thankful to God, my friends, such individuals retain a sensitivity to his presence. Gratitude towards God requires tonight a belief in God at the very last and in gratitude fails to fulfill our responsibilities to acknowledge him. Do you understand that every good thing in life you have right now is because of God permitted you to have it? Be thankful my friends. 
Do you understand that every good opportunity you have ever received is not because of your charm and charisma, but it is because of, my friends, the goodness, the goodness of God. Be thankful, my friends. Be thankful. Do still emphasize an importance of thanksgiving. The Bible tells us a story of the ten lepers that were healed by Jesus Christ in Luke chapter 17 verse 19 tells us he healed all the ten but only one thought it was to come come back and express his gratitude to him Jesus respond in verse 17 and 17 to 17 it tells us Jesus answered and says, Were there not uh, ten things, but are, where are the nine? This is an obvious question tonight uh, that shows his disappointment in ingratitude of the remaining nine. Jesus didn't stop there, my friends. Reading further in verse 19, yes, uh, we could see his uh, abusing the one, uh, uh, assuring that the one that leper that was grateful about his faithful faith that's made him whole. His faith has made him whole in Luke chapter 19, 17 verse 19, he said unto him, Arise, go thy way, thy faith has made thee whole. My friends, tonight the question is, why should we thank God? First of all, my friends, we should know, we should know tonight that Thanksgiving isn't a ritual. This isn't an activity that we do because it's a symbolic or necessity, my friends, or necessary. Thanksgiving is a genuine output, output of our hearts, content to the one who owns us tonight, my friends, and has called us to be in his re receiving, re re reverencing God for who he is in his presence in our lives in his acknowledging his leadership and rulership in our lives and his confessing that we see him tonight in every aspect of our lives it is exciting my friends and exulting and exhaling my friends for the one who is all those he does in our lives regarding of what is happening around us that we are going through how we feel my friends there are always thousands of reasons why we should always show our gratitude and appreciation to God my friends because of the will of the Father for us First Thessalonians chapter First Thessalonians chapter five verse eighteen tells us and everything in everything give thanks to for this is the will of God in Jesus Christ concerning the biblical instruction. Here it's it's clear, my friends, tonight if you are not giving thanks to God, yes, you are being disobedient tonight, my friends. Yes, you need to give thanks to God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be the name. If you are not giving thanks to God tonight, my friends, I want to encourage you to start giving Him praise and thanks and be grateful for life. Be grateful for health. Be grateful for provision. Be grateful for the mercies and the love and all that God has bestowed upon your life. First Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 18 tells us it is a command. It is a command. It is a command, my friends. It says in everything, give thanks. In everything, give thanks. It means that when you face the good or bad or ugly, good, bad or ugly, and are traveling through the most trying times in your life, give thanks when you experience a major breakthrough and everything seems to be working out. My friends, give thanks. Yes, give thanks. Every time is always, it is uh, the will of God, of the Father concerning us, uh, that we should acknowledge Him, uh, acknowledge Him in every stage uh, of our lives, uh, and give Him all the glory tonight, uh, and honor, my friends. Uh, yes, a thankful heart uh, is a joyful heart. Uh, when we become thankful, we begin to recount uh, His blessings and faithfulness, uh, my friends, in our lives, uh, our hearts. 
began to lean on his good deeds and mighty works. My friends, we continue to recount his blessings tonight that we forget about the things, the things that haven't received yet. Yes, my friends, gratitude silences mornings and complain. A grateful heart is joyful tonight of that which has been done. Yes, my friends, while it anticipates that which is to come, my friends, that is why it is connected. It is connected and alive, alive to what God is about to do and begun tonight, my friends. Being grateful, being thankful is ascribing, my friends, all the glory of God. An ungrateful heart doesn't only hoard God's blessing and goodness, my friends, it also fails to recognize, recognize and return the glory to Him for the daily benefit. My friend, it gets away, it gets that way, it begins to get presumptuous and, and think whatever it happen, happening to Him or her is the results of personal efforts and understanding brothers and sisters and family and relatives tonight uh, your personal efforts uh, will get you nowhere you need to take your eyes uh, off yourself tonight uh, and and place them into Jesus uh, my friends put your eyes onto Jesus uh, look not onto the east nor the west uh, nor the north or the south uh, but look onto Jesus uh, the author and finisher of our faith uh, and start giving him thanks uh, for the breath of life uh, start giving thanks for everything my friends in Jesus precious name and tonight uh, you will start giving thanks uh, for your healing and for your deliverance. Uh, those of you who are sick tonight uh, and you're sick unto death uh, and the doctors have given you up uh, and say the disease uh, you have, uh, you will not live. Uh, it will take you home. Uh, the disease you have, uh, the cancer you have uh, has already eaten up your inside. The disease you have in your body, the doctors are saying that you will not live. Uh, but as a man of God tonight, I have good news for you. You will not die, but you will live to fulfill purpose and calling and destiny. And if you're feeling the presence of God is the Holy Spirit tonight, that born in your body, God is already doing a work. He has started the healing process. You will be healed tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. And tomorrow, my friends, you will go back to the doctor and when the doctors check you they will not find any trace of disease and sickness that is plaguing you unto death yes you will live and you will not die in the name of Jesus let's give a big if you have cancer tonight, if you have AIDS, you have COVID, you have diabetes, you have a heart problem, a liver problem, a lungs problem, if you're suffering with a migraine headache and diabetes and arthritis pain in the joints, or you're suffering RSV tonight, whatever ailments you have tonight, I want to introduce you to the healer tonight. And those who have a loss of memory tonight and you're losing your memory, you cannot retain things you're forgetting and asking about the same things over and over today. I pray through the power of the Holy Spirit that tonight is your night for a miracle. Tonight is your night for healing. Tonight is your night for deliverance. God is going to restore your memory. Memory bank. God is healing your memory bank. You will retain your memory. You will not forget. You will remember. And God is touching your thought process and your memory bank right now in Jesus name those who are sick tonight in their mind yes you have a mental problem a nervous breakdown yes and you are insane person God is restoring sanity to you tonight in the mighty name of Jesus and whatever sickness there is nothing too hard for God to do because he is a healing God for he was wounded for our transgressions he was bruised for our liberties the chastisement of our peace was upon him and with 
the stripes, we are healed. I am healed. You are healed. We are healed. In Jesus' name, let's give him a big hand. It is a awesome presence of both the Holy Spirit tonight. And tonight is your night for a miracle. And tonight is your night for healing those who are demon possessed and can't sleep in the nights. Right now there is about 20 to 10, my friends, tonight. And tonight is your night for a miracle. Those demons will leave your body. Those demons will not torment you anymore. Right now I command them to go in the name of Jesus. Set the captives free, you sufu devil. Get out of those bodies right now in the name of Jesus. My friends, I see demons in the spirit realm are leaving your body right now in the name of Jesus. Demons tremble at the name of Jesus because there is power in the name of Jesus. There is victory in the name of Jesus. There is healing in the name of Jesus. There is deliverance in the name of Jesus. There is power if you're blind tonight and you're deaf, you're dumb, you're Lame. I want you to choose you to the healer. God can work a miracle. There is nothing too hard or difficult for him to do tonight. If you're suffering from depression, oppression, frustration, anxiety, what the case may be, tonight is your night for a miracle. God says in his words, we must lay hands as preachers on the sick and they shall recover but my friends tonight God is no respect of persons there is no limit there is no barrier there is no distance where prayers is concerned tonight and wherever you are tonight my friends if you are in the USA in the UK in Canada in the Caribbean in any part of the world in Italy in Germany France wherever you are and you understand what I'm saying yes my friends friends, where it's part of the world, in Guyana, wherever you are tonight, my friends, and you're sick, and you want God to heal you, it tonight is your night, tonight is your night, my friends, for a miracle, and right now I'm going to send for the anointing through the power of the Holy Spirit, and wherever you are, in your living room, in your dining room, in your kitchen, in your car, in your office, on the street, with your phone, in church, or right here tonight, you will be healed in the name of Jesus. Yes, my friends, right now I'm sending for the anointing in the name of Jesus. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Be set free by the power of the Holy Spirit. I see demons are fleeing right now. Many bodies are healed. Yes, all for all manner of sicknesses and pain and disease and infirmities. Let's give a lot of big hands tonight. We will see your miracle. Father God, I thank you for the healings. I thank you for the deliverance. I thank you for setting the captives free. Yes, my friends, that is the work of God, the Holy Spirit. Yes, because Jesus Christ died for your sicknesses and pain and disease. And he wants you to walk in divine health. And my friends, from this night onwards, you will walk in divine health and happiness and prosperity, free from sickness sicknesses and pain and disease yes because God the Holy Spirit has brought a miracle for you tonight my friends those who are not saved accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior make sure you are saved make sure your name is written in the Lamb's book of life because he said in his words he is not willing that any should perish, but all should come to repentance. He came into the world not to condemn the world, but the world through him might be saved. He says, come now and let us reason together, saith the Lord. Though your sins be as scarlet, it shall be white as snow. Though it be like crimson, it shall be as wool. Tonight, my friends, God wants you to be saved. He wants you to be healed. He wants you to be deliver for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have eternal life everlasting life my friends do you want everlasting life Jesus Christ died for you to have everlasting life 
And only he can give you everlasting life because he bridged the gap between man and God to reconcile us back to him. But the choice is yours. Make the wise choice tonight and accept eternal life. It's a gift from God and it's a free gift in Jesus' name tonight. My friends and beloved, it has been a joy and great privilege to be so late tonight to minister the word of God. Thank you for being here tonight. God bless you richly. I love you in the love on the love of God. And those who are listening online, God bless you richly. Do have a sweet night dress in Jesus' precious name. Amen and amen. Amen. God bless you richly in Jesus' name. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs>